What are your memories of the time leading right up to the beginning of World War II and right after the attack on Pearl Harbor and America's entry? Well, I was at the Florida Theater um, in uh, at the time when um, we knew about Pearl Harbor, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it was it was a stunning blow to my family. Uh, my father. Uh, was the Dodge Plymouth dealer here in St. Petersburg, and he had been uh, had that business only four years, and he had been very successful as a volume Dodge dealer, um, and, but he didn't have any reserves at all in in his business, mm -hmm. and uh, he had been a um, a pilot in World War One, and I have his wings uh, from 19 and his uh, tags from World War One and his uh, uh, one of his uh, ribbons which I'm willing to leave for you and uh, then he uh, uh, his business mm -hmm. was shot because there were no no more manufacturers of automobiles and his his business was a sales volume sales organization. So he um, he wanted to go back into this military service, and, and uh, he I have his wings, his World War II wings, uh, and he was uh, he went into the he enlisted right away to go yes. back into the service, and he uh, he wound up uh, uh, as a mess officer, and he was a captain. Uh, and he was, uh, but, and he was, I don't know where, why he thought that he would be a flyer. I don't think he, he did think that, but he wanted to be useful. And so he... Uh, a call to service. Yeah, a mm -hmm. call to service. And, and so he was, uh, the, he was the best mess officer uh, in, in, the, in the... When he was in the First World War, uh, did he train in Florida? No, he trained in Michigan, in Selfridge Field in Michigan, and he was an instructor. 